Good morning, guys. How, how y'all doing this morning? Uh, Rico here, Rico's place. I, uh, a little bit before Christmas, I cooked some street tacos out here on the, uh, I don't know what the hell that is, on the uh, Portuguese walk, and then I, uh, I got sick. Well, deathly thick, Ebola, or it was bad. Um, and I just kind of walked away from base camp, went and got in bed, and just for two weeks was bedridden and, you know, doctor going and, and uh, all that kind of kind of stuff. I'm, I'm about 85% now, but I'm going to do some uh, cooking base camp uh, tomorrow, maybe later today, tomorrow. Well, I didn't clean the walk, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like here in a minute, but I, uh, I left probably three inches of lard in it some meat scraps and stuff like that and then it rained so now it's uh, filled with water it's got a little oil slick film on it um, not good stuff so I thought I'd clean it out this morning and uh, get it ready make it just a little a little uh, tutorial for y'all um, that's pretty that's pretty sturdy Anyhow, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some wood under here, get a fire going, get this water boiling, kind of get it all scraped up, get all the stuff out, and then we'll, uh, I'll show you how I clean it, and then uh, we'll, all right, anyhow. but no. okay so I got it packed with some old season eucalyptus there and we're just gonna let this thing get hot shoot it's getting warm it's warming it's warming warming up as the sun comes up I guess it gets warmer it's kind of uh I guess I better talk to a scientist about that or something uh hell I don't know but let me, uh, we're just going to get this water boiling. Holy moly, that was freaking dirty. Well, not as dirty as it's been in the past, but it was dirty. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some water in there, get the water boiling, scrape it. Smoke's following me. Okay, so we'll fill this up water, get it boiling. Okay, I'm going to let that water boil. I'll be back in about 15 minutes. Right, this looks halfway decent. Um, we'll get this water out of it. We'll get it dry. We'll get the coals out from underneath the, uh, the cooking surface. And then I'll rub it down with some olive oil. And we'll be good to go. Okay, 
Um, I left out one little step here in the cleaning process. And uh, I learned this little trick. I don't know if I learned it from a uh, an old oaky cook or a drunken hobo or bum. I don't remember. But on my outdoor cooking surfaces like this, I found, in fact, it could have been an old chili cooker because I think I started doing this when we were uh, when we're cooking chili, is that I got it cleaned. Best I'm going to get it clean. Now I kind of want to sanitize it. And we found... You just pour a little bit of vodka in here, it'll cook off, but it kind of, I just like it, okay? Now, I don't have, I usually go get a bottle, big jug of the Wolfenschmidt or whatever the cheapest vodka they have is, okay? Because, but I don't have that, so I'm going to use a little bit of my Tito's, uh, kind of expensive, but it'll be okay. And we're just going to, note to self you're working with uh, fire and hot metal might be hot and then we'll dump this over in the fire pit Last step I'm gonna do, like with my cast iron, is I'm just gonna just put a little uh, little shortening. We're just going to get this coated with an oil, shortening, lard, whatever. Olive oil will be okay, I think. The, the walk's done. It's as clean as it's going to get. I have to go, uh, I'm going to cook some salmon tomorrow. I'm going to dry brine it tonight, cure it. Then I'll cold smoke it tomorrow, a couple hours. And uh, so I gotta go. I gotta go out anyways in the town. I'll go to the hardware store, Harbor Freight, and I'll buy a cheap. What do they call tarp? I can just lay over this, cinch up at the bottom, and uh, try to keep this thing a little cleaner than I normally do. This looks pretty good, actually. And we're done. You guys have a good day. I uh, hope you enjoyed this a little bit. I, I, I still don't still understand why people enjoy watching me. I'm no one. And uh, I'm glad you do. Keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking. It's the tie-dye cowboy. Salute, my friends. <laughs>